Reservoir on your Thursday morning. Beautiful shot out there. December 1st. I know it's impossible to believe that it's December already. We got to start our advent calendars at home. So there's nothing quite like watching your kids open up those toys on Christmas morning. But you want to make sure that those toys are safe. There are things you can look for, even some toys that seem perfectly fine. They might pose a little bit of a danger. The Fox 31 problem solvers taking a look at what toys are good for boys and girls and what to keep in mind when you do that holiday shopping this year to make sure toys don't become a hazard. What do you need to watch out for when it comes to safety of toys? Dr. Kristen Werberg, always a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you. Merry uh, post Thanksgiving That's to right. you, almost <laughs> Christmas to you. Uh, and, and you're always on the lookout for this stuff. And it's, Absolutely. It's not, it's not that they don't sell these toys because they do, it's just age appropriate decisions, right? That's the number one thing we're going to talk about right. today is making sure that you choose toys that are age appropriate for your kids. There are over 250,000 kids that have to visit the emergency department each year because of some sort of wow. toy injury. That's a so lot. following these guidelines will really help you keep your kids safe. Okay, so let's just start down the line here. Okay. Uh, I mean, this doll looks fine. Yes, but it's for three and older. Why is that? And so, because probably you can pull off one of these small parts. Uh, and when we're talking about kids under three, we know they explore their environments. And one of the ways they do this is by putting things in their mouth. Everything. Every single everything. thing in my house. And so, <laughs> kids younger than three, the pieces that come off a toy need to be big. This wouldn't fit into a baby's mouth or a right. toddler's mouth. There's actually these safety testers that you can buy. You don't need to buy them because you, I would just follow the manufacturer guidelines. Right. But very similar toys, little trucks, but this truck is for kids three and older, and this truck comes with this little small part, and he absolutely fits right into the safety. Which means the baby can get it stuck in their throat. Yes, and so these okay. toys are for older than three. This toy is for kids older than one. I've heard a toilet paper tube is always a good test, too. Ex yeah, yeah, that's much easier than the one you would buy online. And these little batteries are a whole other level of danger for kids. whole other level. I've kind of grouped the button batteries in this magnet toy yeah. together. These are so dangerous because they can cause severe internal injury if they're swallowed by a child. These button batteries are in toys, really cool toys. Um, they're in greeting cards. They're in other yeah. electronics, remote controls. You don't even realize they're just, there half the time because they're so small. They're so small. And you need to keep them away from your kids. Put these up high where they're out of reach. Change the batteries in the toys when your kids aren't around. And then when your kids get older, my kids are 9 and 11, yeah. I've talked to them about this. I've talked to them about button batteries. Never put these in your mouth. Because they'll burn a hole in the esophagus, right? <laughs> exactly. They can erode through the esophagus, cause severe internal injury. Magnet toys. This toy was um, intended for kids older than 14. Yeah. You still need to talk to your teens because oftentimes they'll just put them in their mouth, right. accidentally swallow them, and then the magnets can adhere together in the intestine again. Cause Super huge dangerous. Problems. Keep these out of the reach of kids. And this seems like the most simple, <laughs> innocuous toy in the world, but it's about how long this string is, right? So strings and straps can cause injury, especially to kids under three. The string needs to be less than 12 inches. Okay. If you have a, a play guitar, the strap for toddlers and young kids, just take the strap off. This is easily just removable. Pop it right off. Pop yeah. it off. Okay. The child under three can still play with it. Is that because it could choke somebody? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can and jam so away all you, you want. You can jam away. <laughs> three year old can play, play away. And balloons. Obviously, balloons. kids love balloons. They love them. But. And, you know, we were having this conversation earlier that over Thanksgiving, we had kids of all ages yeah. at our house. And my boys love these, but we had young kids there. And I just said, no, you can't play with these. Balloons that break, they're a severe choking hazard. Kids under eight shouldn't try to blow up the balloons themselves right. because they inhale instead of exhale, and it can cause. Uh. Cause the danger. You can suck it mm -hmm. right in your throat. Yes. And sometimes it is about not your kids, but understanding if you've got other kids over your house that you've got to adjust what you're letting them play with. Absolutely, and that's why this is so important to talk about it this time of year. Yeah. And mm -hmm. real quick, we got to run here, but I do want to talk about this. If you get a scooter, motorized or not, you got to get the helmet. 45% of the injuries that happen occur on wow. riding toys. They're awesome, they're fun, they're outside, they're not on their electronics, but you have to make sure if you're get, getting a, a scooter yeah. or if you're giving one, make sure that they have the safety gear that goes with it, especially a helmet. You rock. So much good information. Dr. Kristen Woodward, we always appreciate having you here. Thank you so much. Keeping us safe, keeping us good. healthy. Thank you so much. Let's get over to Shaw. I know we've probably some breaking news, Shaw. Yeah, we are out of Jacksonville, Florida.